Hey, Plasto. Pam here, stitching between the lines .com or Instagram under the same name. Um, although I don't really post all that much, but you never know. Um, I check, I check Instagram every day. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, anyway, I'm here in sunny Florida, or sort of sunny Florida. It's trying to be a little overcast, although I'm seeing a little blue peek through. Um, they're saying maybe we'll get a little rain, a little rain this week. Um, it usually rains when I'm here. Sometimes I come in the middle of January and stay through February, and it rains for the first, you know, bunch of weeks. And so I wasn't in a big hot hurry to get here this year. And plus, I wasn't really well enough to travel. I wasn't sick sick, but, you know, this whole dental thing has been a nightmare. Um, anyway, and <laughs> it's warm. It's mostly warm. I keep telling people it's like your most favorite spring days that you only get like two of a year when you live up north. So, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to rub it in. It is, um, <laughs> it is what it is, though. So, anyway, um, it's been nice. I get lots of sewing done, and I get to take walks and um, enjoy outside and um, read read a lot I read a whole book in just a few days I read the nest which I'd have to run out of the picture to go get if I you wanted to know the author but it is uh, on it, it I keep hearing about it I keep seeing it I keep seeing it on bestseller lists and thinking oh that doesn't look like anything I'd like but it really was good it really read fast it was sort of a family Drama. I call it a drama, not a saga, because it doesn't really span generations, but one generation um, of kids that are sort of a hot mess because they under they know they're going to inherit money at a point in the future, and they sort of lead their lives under the assumption they're going to come into a whole bunch of money at, at, on a specific date. They know exactly when it's coming, and um, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So it was good. It was good. It wasn't anything, you know, overly scary, thrilling, anything. It was a good book, good story. And um, I'm also reading a book by Kate Atkinson, my, one of my all-time favorite authors, um, Human Croquet, which is kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> her books are different. She's such an awesome writer, such an awesome writer. There's a little tiny bit of time travel in there. I'm not really sure how much of it's going to come into play in the whole story, but it's not usually the kind of thing I go for. But Life After Life, which was the first one of hers I ever read, was fabulous and involved some time travel. Very interesting, though. Very well done. So anyway, we're really here for the stitching. I'm going to say this. I'm I'm recording on my, my laptop, which is not how I've done it in the past. My laptop, logging on to YouTube, indicates I'm allowed to do more than 15 minutes, although I don't really think I'll be doing more than 15 minutes this morning, but you never know. I don't have a lot to show because I don't have a lot here. Um, I did have the opportunity to go shopping. There's a store... Well, it might only be 15 miles from here, but in Florida time, you you have to factor the miles time. You have to take the number of miles away it is and multiply it times like 2.5 or something to figure out how much time it's going to take you to get there. Because if it's not traffic, there is so much traffic, but that doesn't always slow you down. It's that there's a traffic light at every intersection practically. Um, so anyway, it's just a lot of that drive until the next stoplight. So I went to this shop in Largo called the Crafty Framer, which is a little shop. Um, she has some sewing days and some sewing time. And sometimes I meet a friend there who's here for the winter down in St. Pete's. And uh, we stitch or we shop or we go have lunch. So that's always fun. So we met there and we shopped and we had lunch and we stitched. And while there, I always buy a lot because I don't get to a shop. I mean, it's different than the shop I get to at home where I can walk in, take my framing in, and not buy a single thing other than the framing, which costs enough. Um, but it's because it's different and she carries kind of different things. Um, I always seem to find things I need to have. So this year, there were, there were, I actually went looking for this item because I knew she carried this magazine. But um, I bought the new Stony Creek cross stitch, which. It's not a magazine. I don't even know if I've ever purchased this magazine before. I don't know. Um, Stony Creek, it, it's not a website I've ever visited. And then I hear floss two people talk about it because they're doing the house of the month thing. And so people talk about that they've got their next house of the month and their next um, whatever. So when they order that, I think they can get that for free if they buy something. So there's always some buying and some showing and some talking about it. So I wanted this magazine though, because I very much like nautical things. So there's my magazine, the latest edition, um, winter, I think it is. I think it's, I think it might be winter 2017. 
although I'm not seeing that written on here, but I think that's how they break them down, maybe by season. So anyway, it's got this nautical picture on it. So, uh, and I visited the website, which is where I saw it in the first place. And one of the things that was very cool about their website and this magazine is on the website, you can go to a link to the shopping list for each magazine. So all the extra things for this pattern and any pattern in the magazine, you can just go to their website and you can order it. So in the in the example of this particular piece is you could get the fabric, which I did not. I was not sure. I don't want it to be such a flat. I want. I maybe want an over dyed. Um, so when I get home, I'll see what I have. If I have anything that'll work, and then I can go back and order the fabric. I'm sure. But you can get your buttons. Let's see. There's a couple buttons. There's like flip flop buttons and I think some seagull buttons. You can order some of the floss. Not. All of it wasn't there. there. It was almost seemed if you needed two skeins of anything or if they recommended two skeins of anything, you could buy the two skeins. So then maybe you're going to have matching color lots and stuff, dye lot. So I bought that, and then I bought the frame because you can get the frame. And who doesn't want the frame when you liked the picture and it's sort of that like weathered uh, wood, beech wood, kind of driftwood kind of look. So here's the thing, if I've spent all that money and bought the frame, I'm gonna stitch that thing and I'm gonna stitch it relatively soon because I'm not investing all that much money in a project that just goes in a box somewhere. So I may be working on this once I've accumulated, I have to go home, first of all, it's being sent home so I can't start it here. And I have to look through my fabric and I have to look at the floss and look at the frame and see what'll work. So, but I, like I said, I really like nautical sort of theme things. So I'm going to do that and I don't know if there's anything else in there I want to do. I really bought it for that. Um, so then I have been stitching much, much on my cooler design. Uh, it was the night before Christmas. I showed this in my last is my Florida stitching and explained how it is I came to own this pattern. And um, so it's on my last videos videos I have to say plural because I had to divide it in half but when I when I got here in Flo to Florida all I had done was the banners done but not any of the lettering and the Santa although I had not done the bag his pipe and there was quite a bit of odd stitching in his flesh and in his beard that still needed done it was I I don't, I, I don't work concentrated in just one area. I had known I was going stitching last week, and so I quick worked my way up into the corner, you know, just stitching from some foundation point and working my way up so that I could have just this white to fill in because that's mindless, and when you're visiting, you're not really, really going to mess it up. But <laughs> I had to, t I was working on, I did the, I framed this in is what my, objective was because if you screw up that the way this is framed it's going to show so i had to take that out and do it three times i have no idea i think i was probably just tired but that's silly i should not have had to do that but part of it was skipping some of of the background dark stitching in there and i for some reason could not seem to count eight diagonal stitches over and start in the right spot it was just crazy or one time i think i took um I missed the correct hole, so that was wrong. So I was just stupid, but it's one of those things that happens. Everybody knows, everybody understands. So when I got here, anyway, I had Santa mostly done. But and anyway, what I was saying is like, if I'm working on this brown, and if I can do it without any counting errors, because I'm not really jumping space, I'll move over and do some brown here. And if I'm working on some white and I can logically get there I'll do the same stitches here and there and wherever so I don't stitch exclusively in any particular area but as long as I can base my expansion on something else to limit the chance of an error I will so here he is in the picture form and what I don't have is a picture to show you of what he looked like before I started which is why I spent so much time just explaining that so here it is after a week 10 days of good stitching time 
and I also went back and I've started doing some of the back stitching because you know what it's like in a picture that's this heavy in the back stitching you get it all done and it's such a relief and then you think oh man that there's tons and tons of back stitching so I tend to try to back stitch a little bit as I go so every day when I sit down to stitch just in the beginning and only if I remember I try to do one um, one length of thread back stitching or one area just depending on my mood and how much time I have so I worked on his beard and I worked on the um, pipe smoke there's a lot of color changes in the back stitching too so currently I'm only working with the one color but when I get up into his eyes and his face where there's one or two stitches in one or two colors I may bring those colors over and start working on like the doll's face that has also one or two stitches you know also being a fleshy colored will use some of the same so I finished the whole house I finished the greens there's a little mouse up there and the green which will show up when I out when I back stitch him and mindless stitching up here so I only have part of it done it's not even halfway done um, I've been going back if I had a little bit of white left in my needle and doing a little bit more and a little bit more but I expect to go stitch with my friend at least one more time so I will be leaving that for that time um, I'm working my way I've, I've finished an entire page an entire page it's a four page pattern an entire page kind of cuts across here up part way through Santa and over well I say an entire page this little bit of white's not done but I'm not counting that because that's just mindless so I've started going on down into the what would be the last page page four of the pattern this is a stocking full of toys there's a big bubble down here that I think says twas the night before and all and to all a good night uh, is said down here so there's not a lot of stitching it's mostly just letters but there's the stocking and down below um, there's a night scene of Santa's reindeer and sleigh so I expect this week to at least be able to finish the stocking maybe some more back stitching um, I'm sure I'm sure more back stitching so it's coming coming along coming along quite well hopefully I won't get tired of stitching it the only other thing I have is like some Mill Hill ornaments so those I don't feel like extremely inspired to work on so I'll keep going keep going keep going so that's really about it I um don't have anything else to work on don't have anything else to show you when before I left for Florida I took the Prairie Schooler piece and another piece which I intended to show you on the last video it was a Jeanette Douglas band um, one of her band samplers I had intended to show it to you but I had left it in my sewing room so I didn't so I took that and um, the prairie schooler to my framer so they'll be done when I get home so I'll be able to show you those and how far I've gotten on Santa but I don't really expect to post again while in Florida but I am really enjoying everybody's videos I love to see that um, you have videos and they keep coming out with more um, you know I'm here by myself most of the time my husband has been here my daughter will be here um, so having floss tube to watch is really nice I was really disappointed last night I was gonna really I was gonna sew and watch floss tube yesterday late afternoon in the evening and it must be it must be that time of day this is a densely populated area but I could not none of the um, no videos would open they wouldn't load they wouldn't open so I'm thinking there was like an overload on the internet in the community something like that it's kind of like at home when we nobody can do anything on Christmas Day because everybody's on their computer so anyway I was disappointed this Sunday night I couldn't watch any floss too but I'll catch back up I've got a couple new ladies I'm watching and I've I'm, I'm I was my friend came to stitch on Saturday and we were spending the day and <laughs> I felt like every conversation circled back around a floss tube because of course we're cross stitching so it's you know um, I'll talk about cross stitch mostly in family whatever and um, anyway we you know it's good that we exchanged names and who we watch and why we like them and what went on and stuff and one of my new favorites um, Abby Bella stitch uh, who ironically um, went and featured on one of her early videos a shopping expedition she made to what I, is the store I go to where I get my framing done so that was kind of cool if you watch her I think it was video number six she goes to um, golden thread needle art which is my almost local almost local needle workshop 
Um, it's my preferred one. It's, you can always go there and get the thread you want. You can, you know, she might not have the newest patterns in my style, but I can always go and get the threads. Whereas the other shop, which she featured in a prior video, um, is much, much, much smaller, and you can't go there and expect to find all the threads you want. So she doesn't, she just can't keep that kind of inventory. So you might go and you might get two of the six you wanted. So now you're left needing to go to another store or to order online anyway, which is kind of a sad thing. I understand it's hard. It's, you have to order a minimum quantity and minimum price and all that. And so it's hard. But anyway, um, if you check out her videos, number six is of my shop, my most local needle workshop. And, um, but anyway, what I was saying is I was dismayed to learn that she's not making videos anymore. You know, I still have like 20 videos to watch to catch up to where I think she stopped. So hopefully you'll come back to it, Abby, because I'm enjoying your stitching and I'm enjoying your videos. So, and there was one person's videos who had quit watching because she was just, just not, not my style, I guess. I did not find her videos entertaining. So... I, but I didn't went back to start watching them again because I don't know. It's like you can't stop. You can't stop looking. So I really enjoy them. And I know there's so many choices. And I'm really happy that people stop in and check mine out. And I really, really will have more stuff when I'm at home with my stuff. And I can show you more. I have a lot of things that are done that we could um, chat about. Prairie schoolers and, and the like. Um, so anyway, I've babbled on long enough. And... Um, I have some errands to run this morning, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to stitch and watch YouTube <laughs> floss doom. So have a good one. Bye.